All righty. So we have the entire James Barkman crew on our Pure Country Home Hangouts. I feel like we're in like Hollywood Squares, like virtual edition right now. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like the Brady Bunch is what people keep comparing it to. And it's so true. It's like we're one big, happy, dysfunctional family every day of the week. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> so, okay, two of you are in Canada, two of you are in Nashville. Um, is this the longest you guys have gone without actually being together? Yeah, but I would say like by far. I mean, like this is this is the longest we've ever gone without like even playing a show. So never mind, yeah. like like seeing each other. I guess that's the other way around. But yeah, it's one. What Taylor, you said when was the last time we saw each other? You see, you did the backwards math. It would have been post CRS, so like middle of February ish, and we were supposed to come down within like three days of COVID shutting everything else down in March. So yeah, it like backdates that to whatever February sixteenth or something like that. Wild. Do you guys miss each other? I mean, we... <laughs> so maybe. It's a little bit of both. They're on here like once or twice a week, but we don't have to deal with each other stinking, like the smell you don't have to deal with. So I feel like it's actually been a net positive thing for the band because we still and get the face, but no, no sensory stuff. And I will say, uh, I, I can speak from experience. I never got into it, but from like a nerd uh, kind of uh, avenue, um, we found ways to like connect with games and stuff, whether it's Fortnite or Call of Duty and stuff. I just like, like there are certain guys that are Fortnite and certain guys that are Warzone and stuff like that. Taylor's addicted to Fortnite. Like okay. James not got hooked, but I think Taylor is messaging like every day. Like, what are we dropping? Are we dropping today? <laughs> drop now? You guys gonna drop at four o'clock, five o'clock? It's, but it's, it's it's a lot of fun. So. That way you guys still get to connect. I, what is Fortnite? Is that a bad question like can of worms to open right now? <laughs> no. Theoretically speaking, I mean, the Mayans originally, no. <laughs> it's like, it's really cool. Bobby's the one who like kind of got us all into it. But it's like, it's like a, like Call of Duty, but you can be like these goofy, like, like hot dog in the game. Oh. And you run around and like, like, are weird characters but then you kind of can on them in their face but you can also build like structures. it's like the, it's, there's no way to explain it really that's just okay. a game for 27 year old men <laughs> <laughs> but, but and i will say and i was like i was never an online guy but the cool like the the best part about all this is that you have like your headset or whatever and like you're doing all this stupid <laughs> stuff but you're like, you know, chirping or like catching up on stuff you missed or so it's that aspect because I've never done that like online thing, but to be a part of that and like, hey, I haven't run into you obviously in four months, but I can still know how everything's going. Really you can cool. still give each other crap on games, which is still fun. Um, yeah. I was like, can't say bad words, Shannon. I've like gotten really bad at that because when I'm doing interviews in person, I feel like it's easier to know not to swear but on virtual I'm like it's like talking on the phone I don't care as much um so you guys are all dog dads I'm gonna apologize in advance because my dog Phoebe got injured yesterday so she has a cone on her head so if you hear some sort of like weird noises it's just her um so I want to know about your dogs because I feel like you guys posted a picture a little while ago with all of them and you guys had your stay the puck home um t-shirts on but are your dogs enjoying you guys being home more or are they starting to get annoyed with you being home? And then also tell us the name of your dog. So James, you can go first. So my dog's name is actually Bobby. <laughs> it's funny, this was like the band was pretty young when we first got our dog. We're like, it'd be so funny to name it after Bobby. Not thinking it's like naming your kid something weird and then realizing like you're going to have that for a long time. And so now, like, every time Bobby's over, I'm, like, yelling at the dog. It's, like, the weirdest thing. But, yes, it, my dog's name is Bobby Martin on its name tag and everything. <laughs> Not to dwell on it, but we went in to get the name caller made up, and it said, like, Bobby Martin on one side and then James Barker on the other with, like, my phone number. And the lady's like, that's such a funny name for a dog, Barker. I get it. And I was like, that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but anyway, and she loves that we're, she loves that we're home. I mean, like. I'm sure everybody's dogs are just like, this is crazy. Like, they just don't leave anymore. Like, Steph and I, we, <laughs> yesterday to help Connor and Cassidy move, and it was probably the longest we've been away from the dog. But I do feel like she was happy to see us when we came back. So she's probably like, thank, thank goodness I finally got a break from these, <laughs> these crazy people. And then, Bobby, you have a full French bulldog, which I have a <laughs> bulldog Boston mix. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, that's the one that has the cone on. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Yeah, I, ha I have the French bully, and his name's Goose. So I, I, I tried to get him. Uh, we, we went to Europe in, was it November or October? November? Kind of both-ish. Yeah, yeah so I kind of planned it around, like, uh, I, I think I, I picked him out, like, earlier in the year. You have to wait for, like, the litter. So I planned it, for, like, right when we're home from tour, so I could be home for, like, the puppy stages. Mm -hmm. And I guess I'll be home for like the first <laughs> year of his life. <laughs> that puppy <laughs> stage is very Yeah, we're at the puppy stage and I haven't left the house. So it's going <laughs> to be And then Taylor, your dog, I don't know why, but when you guys first got it and I saw pictures, I was like, oh, it's such a cute little tiny thing, but it is not tiny. No, um, we, uh, yeah, at the time, at the time Cash and I were in an apartment and stuff and uh, we were like, oh, let's get a dog. Cause I was like, we were still on the road a very high amount of time um and uh and so i was like yeah i'll get a dog for sure so we looked at breeds we're like oh like a newfie mix would be great because newfie's very docile and like just like loving and super um you know good dogs uh and so we found uh it was a newfie poodle mix and we were like told it was gonna be like 60 to 80 pounds 80 at the top because they've already had a bunch of litters and stuff and yeah. he's 105 pounds now and like the size that he was when we got him lasted I don't know, maybe a month. His head is bigger than he was as a puppy. Like he's a he's a big boy. Wow, I, he's I so find he's like never ending story. Whatever that dog is, the thing in the movie, like it's yeah. the big dog. It's, it's like Great Dane, Newfie mixed with a grizzly bear mixed with who knows what else. <laughs> yeah, cute though. He's a good he's a good dude, and he's uh, with regards to us being home and stuff too. He's he's like. I, I think he's got it now, but he's still weirded out by it because it's just like, they're like, if you look at your day kind of as like a graph or whatever of excitement stuff, like usually it's like, you know, Cash and I would go to the gym in the morning. So we'd have, you know, an hour and a half of like nothingness. And then we'd come home and feed him all the stuff. And then we'd go for, hopefully he doesn't hear, but like a walk or whatever later on. Uh, he, as soon as he hears anything close to that, he's like. No, I was scared when you were about to say it because I'm like, these two are going to start harassing me in a second. <laughs> And then he's just, yeah, he's just getting used to like, okay, uh, so you guys are home all the time, not mad, don't know if I'm happy about it, but whatever, you're fine, you can stay in my house. And it's like, oh, okay, thanks, Zeus. He's like, I'm pretty sure you guys are aliens, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> and then Connor, what kind of dog do you, it, your dog actually kind of looks a little bit like our mixed breed dog. Yeah, we've got a boxer mixed with a husky. So okay. like the two most unbelievably playful, like nonstop running like attention required breed. Um, I can't be surprised uh, though that you have that dog breed. <laughs> what's that? I said I can't say I'm surprised that you would have the energetic wild yep. dog breed. <laughs> yeah, he's he's a psycho. We uh like the reason I'm in my truck is because we're just in the middle of a move, and so the new place has got a doggy door, and I don't know if that's the best thing. I thought it was a good idea <laughs> when we moved in, but last night was wild. He was in and out, in and out, in and out. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, let's go. Best house ever. <laughs> yeah that's awesome all right well i just had to ask because i'm like every time i see you guys post about your dogs i'm like i love these dogs um but congratulations to you guys on the new song coming out it's been uh super cool to see just everyone's response to how much they love it in like such a short period of time that it's been out um what made you guys go i feel like the world kind of needs just an easy fun summer song right now it's kind of funny. I mean, we knew, well, we didn't know, but we kind of had that song picked out, like, probably, like, February or January. We're like, this song is obviously, like, there's no other time to release a song like this. Um, and then when COVID hit, we had a serious discussion being like, well, this summer probably won't resemble, you know, most summers. This is going to be a pretty unique situation. People aren't going to be doing the things they normally do. Um, and so should we still release it? But after, like, us being in quarantine and everybody being in quarantine for, for a couple months, we're like, now more than ever, people kind of need that positivity, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, people, I mean, I guess people are still able to go out. I mean, Tennessee's a little different than Ontario, I think. Um, but people are still able to kind of go up to the cottage or swim or hang out with their family a little bit and stuff. And it's like, just having that positive vibe in 2020 in general, I think is just a good thing. Let's get as much good, as many good vibes out into the world as we can, so... Yeah, I think that's a really good idea. And I feel like even if people are stuck at home and they aren't able to go out on a boat or go at, to a party, you can pretty much, you know, like turn up music loud enough, have enough drinks that mentally you can feel like you are partying on a boat. <laughs> exactly. Live vicariously through the song. Yeah, exactly. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. Obviously, it's great to see all of your faces, but hopefully 
sooner rather than later we get to actually see you guys on stage again because that would be kind of fun that would be very fun <laughs> remember how to do it uh, yeah well, i think you guys will figure it out i think you've done it enough times i think you're right all right well thank you guys so much for doing this it was good to see you and um stay safe and hopefully we'll get to see you guys soon in real life yes very soon Thanks all right so bye guys bye, bye. bye.